While the natural habitat of academics is usually described as the ivory tower, in the summer months, these biology researchers migrate to lakes and grasslands in search of fish, birds, and snakes. We're here at Buffalo Pound Lake. We're studying interactions between birds that use this lake and humans that use this lake. Christopher Summers is one of three Canada research chairs in the Faculty of Science. Okay, so my vision for the University of Regina is a place that can do research on the prairies. Right? We're centrally located on the prairies in Canada, and we have a lot of the remnant prairie habitat left here. And I think there's a niche for us to fill as a university. The wildlife management perspective on abundant bird species looks at how they may affect us. He says commercial fishermen are worried about how certain birds impact the food chain. High populations of double-breasted cormorants like these ones often spark debate because their feces kill trees. Jennifer Doucette, who is working on her PhD, describes exactly what her research on cormorants and fish involves. Into colonies, uh, some of the large colonies in Saskatchewan, and collect things like stomach contents from the juveniles. And then I'm also using uh, stable isotopes, which is a chemical signature in your tissues that gives an idea of what is being consumed, what they're eating. And from that, I can look at, uh, go into more detail on whether or not cormorants are eating the same things as those pike and walleye. So. <laughs> Patrick Barnes just finished his undergrad degree in biology. His research interests also apply to human-wildlife interaction. I enjoy uh, using lakes recreationally and all that stuff, and, and certainly you know, my actions uh, are the same as other humans, and, and I interact with these species that I'm studying. Um, so yeah, I suppose it's, it's kind of ironic. It's, it's, you don't often look at yourself as a study species. While studying yellow pike for an honors paper, he got hooked on ecological research. It's a neat lifestyle, being able to, uh, you know, simply think of questions and then think of ways to answer them. And, and of course, just being, uh, you know, working in these kind of environments in, in the natural world, it's just, a, it's just a great place to work and it's a lot of fun.